Howdy folks! Today we're taking a look at Lumberjack Simulator. Now I've had this game for quite a while and I thought I'd made a video on it, but I was looking back through the channel and I actually haven't. Um, this is kind of a passion project by I think a single developer uh, who likes logging and realistic logging machines and all this associated with that. And uh, it's pretty fun, it's a little rough, but they've had some big updates since I've played it. So I'm gonna hop in here and I think we'll just run through the tutorial and see how it goes. Give you all a look at it and uh, if you like you know construction logging that kind of stuff go give this a look over on steam see if it's something you might want to take a look at uh, it's under heavy development they just had a big update here with chippers oh that maybe that did some well uh oh what did it do <laughs> did i did i break it no okay uh so let's go play so this is all kind of changed they've got a hard mode now uh, reach the level three on career mode to unlock this level. Okay. So we have to start here, basically. I thought they had a tutorial. Yeah, there's some of my old saves, but it's kind of cool. It's got realistic machines, uh, mud physics, that kind of stuff. So I guess let's just hop in and we'll start over. It, there's been a lot of updates, like I said, since I played. They don't even have, I don't think they even have the map I was playing on. So we'll see if we can figure this out. The tutorial it used to have was pretty basic. I'll see if that's changed any. There we go. Oh, looks like we might be re recompiling shaders. There we go. Get everything cached in. We got little question marks all over the place. Uh, we can open the map overlay with Z. Oh, that's right. It uses Z for the map instead of M, like all the other games. Uh, v to enter, change tool, use tool, pick up. Okay, we have an axe, we have a chainsaw. Ooh, we got measuring tape. And we got our hand. Okay. So it used to pop up and like tell you what to do. It looks like maybe we go to the question marks now. Small and large mud mats can be used to support driving over soft and muddy terrain. Okay, so these you put on the mud. Gotcha. What we got here? Enter the cottage and find the next job on the laptop. Okay, cool. Uh, what is this? Take the portable scales and measure load weight on vehicles and trailers. Oh, neat. Oh, so I can pick that up. Okay. Maybe we can throw that in the truck if we need it. So there's also stuff over here. Follow the road to reach vehicle dealer. Use the map overlay to quick travel while on foot. Oh, cool. I don't think they had quick travel last time I tried this. Keep this area clear for vehicles to perform the pickup jobs. Oh, okay. Well, let's hop in the shack here and see if we can get a job and go do something. Hey, let me in. <laughs> I'll use the laptop. Uh, Burks, five logs for delivery pine. Do we just click on this? Activate this job. Okay, jobs. Companies. Oh, okay. And then escape to get out of here. Okay, uh, active delivered deliver logs to our location. So we need some pine logs. And we have uh, a day, a little over a day to accomplish that task. Um, where can we cut down trees? There used to be certain areas on the map where you could cut down trees. These are the pine trees with dark brown colored bark. Yeah, so can I just cut those down? we got here oh whoa what oh crap that teleported me i didn't mean to do that <laughs> uh this is my house because there's the truck i was trying to scroll maybe you can't do that uh, i'm not sure where we're supposed to take the logs i guess we take them there yeah it looks like maybe we deliver them here Okay, well, you can just bebop around the map by clicking. Okay. 
Yeah, this is... I guess I'm scroll all the way out. Wait, that said something at the, at the bottom. I can't get that to pop back up. I'm not sure what that was. Uh, close map overlay. All right, still, it's, it's a little bit confusing if you don't know what you're doing, which I don't. This has completely changed. It's like there's birch over there. I guess we'll just cut down those trees. Uh, I've got a truck and a trailer now. I don't know if they've... Like, can I make a wedge cut? Oh, there we go. Use tool. Can I crouch? There's some kind of indicator there, but I'm not sure what it means. And it's covered up by the smoke. I'm sure why the chainsaw is smoking. It's usually a bad thing. Oh, is that showing the pro- Oh, it's showing the progress. Okay, it's just hard to see. Where's all this steam coming from? <laughs> no, no! Yeah, you can't, like, make a wedge cut and then a back cut and... At least not as far as I can tell. So I guess they didn't really go for a realistic chainsawing. So you know, you'd want to, I mean, felling trees is serious business. You can get pretty hurt. Uh, I'd probably want to make like a wedge cut here and then a back cut and maybe get some, even some wedges in there to make it fall the direction I want it to fall. But it looks like we just point and click. Wonder if they always fall a certain direction. Cut was stopped. Keep the cut on... Oh, there's a target? Oh, am I supposed to keep the green circle on the thingy? This is very confusing. They need to give you more instructions about what you're supposed to be doing. Okay. Do they always fall away from you? Let's try this one. So it's kind of a mini game. You got to keep the... Oh, is it the direction? Maybe it's the direction. Oh, they always fall away from you. Okay. Got it. Now we have a tree. Uh, we need f five one meter logs. That's a short log. So let's see. Can we limb this with the axe? How's this work? That too thick? I'm not sure what's going on here. There's not a lot of feedback to like what you're doing. Okay, that worked. Ah. So if you get it close enough. Okay, we're learning. Then it cuts off clean. Got it. Can I not crouch? Okay, crouching would be pretty handy. I know I'm all over the place, but... If you've been around the channel a while, you'll know I, I tend to just hop in and play games. Figure stuff out as they go. Uh, jump. I don't see anything about crouch. Fair enough. There we go. So you gotta hit it, like, right close to the... That makes sense. I've done a lot of this IRL, just not in the logging industry, but I grew up with... Uh, we had wood stove for heat, so lots and lots and lots of cutting trees with my dad and splitting firewood. And it wasn't nice straight grain pine like this. It was like elm and oak and hickory. <laughs> there was a reason I used a 13 pound splitting mull. There we go. All right, let's see if we can figure out how's the tape measure work. We need a one meter log, which, which ain't much. Can I mark that? Use tool E. 
No, but it does just automatically find the end of the log. All right. Yeah, I'm not sure that's not sure that's right. Cuz it's going crooked now. How do I make it make a straight cut? Oh, it made a straight cut, even though I was cutting crooked. All right, we're going to eyeball this and hope it's good enough. So he's sticking in the middle of the log at an angle. I'm, I've heard, I know the machines are pretty realistic. It looks like the chainsaw stuff is not realistic at all, but that's okay. I don't really know of any games that actually have realistic chainsaw use. Kind of, I haven't quite figured out what makes the cut stay straight. I thought you were supposed to like hover over the thing, but it looks like you just changed the angle. And then now it's behind the chainsaw, so I can't see it. <laughs> you know, it's, it's early access. It's a single developer. I, I don't want to just harp on all the bad stuff. It is, it is what it is. And this, like I said, is completely different than the last time I played it. There's been a lot added to it. Yeah, I can't see the indicator at all. So we'll just hope for the best. And where's all this steam coming from? <laughs> it's a lot of steam. So they just need five one meter pine logs. A one meter log doesn't, it's kind of silly, but uh, let's see if we can just, I assume we can just throw those in the back of the truck, right? Oh, you can just do that to enter. Okay. Um, do we camera, camera, change camera? Okay, and the interior view. Oh no, this I forgot. This the camera is backwards, so I'm gonna really struggle with the camera controls because they're backwards from most games. Uh, and the truck does have a winch on it, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't remember what the parking brake is, but. Let's just hope it stays put. So I should be able to, yeah, I can pick this up. Just throw it in the back of the truck here. Yeah, these are pretty good size logs. Will they fit? If I right click, does it throw? No. Seems like E or primary mouse button kind of do the same thing. Get in there. Oh, we can open the tailgate. Nice. Like these little interaction points, nothing like that was in the game last time I played it. So It's nice to see it's making progress. So we'll do this little job and I'll see how this video does. If you want to see more, we can get more into like the different machines that are in the game. You know, there's like fellers and bunchers and tree cutters and all the, I don't know the logging industry that well, but most of the logging I've done in games is in Farming Simulator. They've got all the different like skidders and then there's log trucks. There's there's a lot of vehicles in the game. So if you all want to see that, uh, let me know with a, with a like or a comment. Okay, um, can I strap this down? <laughs> because I don't see this staying in there very good. I, I, maybe I should have used the trailer. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing the option to strap that. Attach dif differential mode. Okay. Uh, woo, and I'm just driving with the keyboard, so. This is going to be pretty crazy. Yeah, I don't know if these are going to stay on. We should probably hook up the trailer, because, yeah. Driving with the keyboard is not the smoothest thing in the world. Although surprisingly, they're, the log physics seem pretty good. They've kind of settled in there. Oh, this camera controls being backwards are gonna really mess me up. Uh, attach? Hey, there we go. Oh, the tailgate almost came open. Tell you what, let's take these. Drop them in the trailer. Come on, jump! 
No, I can't jump over that. Then was it this one that was kind of falling around? Get in there. Maybe we'll put the, all the high ones back in here in the trailer. All right, let's see if we can make it to uh, where are we supposed to go? I'm going to go down the road to the left, and then there's House Woodworks. All right. Okay, before we get started, let me take a look at controls, keys. Maybe controls is only from the main menu. Oh, I do have everything set on Ultra, FYI. 1440p. That's all the defaults for, uh, oh, none of this is turned on. I don't care that much about Bloom. We'll leave that off. I haven't even looked in here. Some stuff has changed. All right. Uh, is there an apply? Continue. I think back in the main menu, I could possibly reverse the camera, but uh, let's hop in this view. Now, in here, it's fine. Oh, I can hear the truck when we're in here. All right, so we need to go down to the left. The mirrors, unfortunately, don't work. Is the stuff staying in here? I kind of blocked the road with... <laughs> oh, oh, no, what? Say what now? Ugh, it's backwards. All right, I kind of, yeah, I kind of messed up. Charge! <laughs> nice. No, let me go back this way. Am I going right? Yeah, I'm going the right direction. All right, we just have to make it through the road. Now, like I said, it does have like mud physics and stuff. The mud is a little exaggerated. So it's aiming for fun, not super realism there. You kind of see we're, we're digging in. We have to go across various uh, platforms, it looks like. Nope, I keep wanting to move the camera and it's like I said, it's backwards. This used to be insanely loud. It looks like that has changed. I'm going to turn that back up a bit. Uh, I'm not sure what this green line is. It's like territory or something? Is there used to be certain areas of the map where you couldn't log? Entering logging area, southeast area. Purchase this area before log. There we go. So that's the uh, different area. All right, we're getting pretty close to where I think we're supposed to drop off this stuff. Uh-oh, this looks kind of gnarly right here. Oh, no problem. We'll say the logs are staying in there pretty good. That part of the physics seems to be doing all right. Oh, this, this up here. I want to bounce too much. Bounce all these logs out. You can see we're getting covered with mud. <laughs> oh, I do have lights. There we go. Okay, we're coming down on the home stretch here. There it is. Yeah, the roads are better. There's like actual drainage ditches on the side. There's been a lot of improvements since I played this. Coming along quite nicely. Uh, deliver logs. Now, do I just pull up in here? Maybe? I have to take them out of the truck and drop them there? I don't really know how I deliver these. You can see there's a trailer. Oh, it took him out of the trailer, but it doesn't take him out of the truck. V to get out. There we go. Interesting.
The object slipped out of your hands. It sure did. What if I just walk over here with it? No? Does it have to be in the trailer? Oh, no, it just takes it a little bit. Oh, maybe it will take it out of the truck, but I didn't sit in there long enough. Woo! Okay, I just didn't sit there long enough. Perfect job! You have reached level two. Awesome. I want to check. Can I drive the forklift? I kind of want to know. Um, I haven't tried this with a controller or my steering wheel. Uh, okay, completed. Job is completed. Got some money. Awesome. Thank you, menu. Starting to snow? Can I drive this? Oh, I can't drive the forklift. I was hoping. <laughs> um, I bet I could I could probably use this trailer though. If I had a truck here with a with a fifth wheel. Oh wait, no, this doesn't have a fifth wheel on it. Maybe this is just scenery, but there are trailers and stuff like that. Um so yeah, there we go. Before we close out, let's go see there's a truck here. Can I teleport over here? Doink. Now do I have to buy this? Dynamo Mills. Uh, I do have $105,000 now, apparently. Uh, enter vehicle. No? Is this the vehicle dealer? It said something about a vehicle dealer. That's obviously the truck that's on the map. Uh, Logware, wood store. House, where's the... Now it said something about the vehicle dealer and I, I missed it. It's like this is where you drop off logs. No flashlight. So I'll have to figure that out. There is a way to buy stuff. But I don't know where we do that. Oh, is it here? Ah, there's a shopping cart. Place the vehicle for sale at this position and complete the sale at the store. Okay, so we can buy and sell here. Nice. Use the store to buy additional vehicles or to sell the vehicle parked in the position. Wow. We opened that door with authority. No messing around. Click. Ah, oh, here we go. So we can buy stuff. Oh boy, the scroll wheel is super. So we got the pickup trailer. We got a small wood chipper. Medium trailer, short log semi trailer. Nice. So here's all the different stuff. We got chippers now. That was the big update that just came out. Uh, we got a loader semi trailer. So like I said, it has all the cool stuff in it. Handler. We got a hauler. That's a big truck. We got a skidder, a feller. Oh, they got a box truck now. To go with the wood chips. Nice. Hundred grand. Yeah, we're gonna have to earn a little more money. We got a forwarder, we got a harvester, we got the tract harvester. So there's all all the toys. Uh small wood chippers can be used to grind up to uh, it can connect to all hitch. Okay, so I could get that. This would work with my little truck. I don't know if my trailer can store wood chips. Yeah, small amounts of wood chips. All right, cool. Uh, and then we'd have to move up to the box truck. How much was the box truck? 100 grand. Well, it'll be a while <laughs> before we can get that far, but there is mod support, upgrades. All right, cool. Well, I'm going to save here. Uh, let me know what you think. Like I said, leave a like or a comment. If you want to see some more, we can try to progress through the career a little bit. And uh, make a little more money, maybe check out the other map and buy some vehicles and whatnot. Thanks as always for watching, and take care. If you're still here, I was going to go check and see. If the little trailer has a hitch on the back.
No. So you can't pull both the chipper and the trailer. All right. See ya.